Hey everyone, so it is Birchbox time again, and last month I got a ton of stuff, so I'm going to jump right in real quick. So, first thing I got was Deli Cherry Tango Chocolate. Oh my gosh, I could eat like 12 of these a day, they were so good. Next, I got three teas from Mighty Leaf Tea. One was Green Tea Tropical. Loved this, thought it was great. This one was a light caffeine. Um, organic Earl Grey. This one was um, good, but not my favorite. And this one was the highest caffeine. And this one was chamomile citrus. And this one I haven't tried yet, basically because it doesn't have caffeine in it. And mostly when I'm having tea, I want the caffeine. So um, haven't tried this yet. I probably will sometime when I want something hot right before bed, but not yet. Um, next thing I had was the Air Repair Rescue Balm, um, all-purpose skin salve and lip balm. This works pretty good as a skin salve. I wouldn't say it's the best lip balm I've ever tried. Um, there's a lot better ones out there. And the smell, this is really going to be weird. It smells just like the Michael Todd um, Blue Green Algae Toner. I don't know why, but to me they smell identical, so it's really weird to put that on my lips. I don't know why, but I'm using it more as a balm on cuts and scrapes and sore spots, um, raw spots. It's just still dry here. Uh, it snowed like five inches yesterday, so yes, April, mid-April, snowing. Awesome. Anyway, been using that. Um, next, the Kula Mineral Sunscreen natural BB cream. I loved this. It gives a matte finish. I actually mixed it with that liquidy bronzer thing that came in last month's either Birchbox or Ipsy. Great combo. I've been using this as foundations pretty much all used up. I might look for this. I really liked it. Vasini Brighten Up Enzymatic Facial Rejuvenator. Little too harsh for my skin. Liked it, but it hurt while I was putting it on. Afterwards, felt really smooth, good. It's a really fine um, exfoliator. So most people probably would be good with it. I just have really sensitive skin. Um, I have continued to use it. For a while, I was thinking about switching to using it on the rest of my body, but I don't know. I keep going to it. I keep thinking, oh, maybe, maybe my skin just has to get used to it, but I don't know. I like it, but eh. Okay. And Curly Hair Solutions Curl Keeper for total control for frizzy hair. I tried this once. I thought it was okay. Um, I have naturally wavy hair today. I have curled it, so um, I didn't use it. It um, made it sort of a nicer wave than it usually is, but still was really frizzy, so definitely not total control for frizzy hair, but it did make my waves a little bit nicer with the combination of a couple other products, doable for maybe a weekend style, probably wouldn't wear my hair like that to work. So, well, I'll probably try it a time or two again before I call it quits, but I don't know. Um, maybe if you had a little bit more manageable natural hair, it would be for you. All right, and on to this month's Birch Box. Totally organic, I haven't opened it yet. Okay, so. Same chevron inside. I don't know why that one month we got such a pretty inside. Maybe that was the Christmas, December month, but I missed that one. Let's go back to that one. All right. It says rainy days on this, but I'm not going to look at the card. And the tissue paper is blue. It's usually pink. That's fun. All right. First thing I see. Oh, it's that number four that um, I had a hairspray that I tried that I didn't like, but... Um, this is a clarifying shampoo. Oh, that's a good thing to try. Um, I only have one clarifying shampoo. It's the Herbal Essences one. I kind of like it. Um, but I'm definitely up for trying a different one. Next. Ooh, I love these. Kind, healthy grains, maple, pumpkin seed with sea salt, chewy with a crunch, gluten-free. Looks like sort of a granola bar thing. I love kind things. Um, I haven't tried this brand. I love all things pumpkin. So I'm really excited about this. And you can't go wrong with maples. 52 bright ideas for a rainy day. You got tip number 20. This is. This is dumb. That better not count as one of my items. Sumita Beauty. 
eye pencil. Doesn't have a color name on it. I'm assuming it's black by the packaging. Let me try to get it open for you. It looks like this. And it's a creamy looking eyeliner. It's very black, very creamy. It goes on really smooth. So I'll definitely try that out. I love black eyeliner. And I got, oh, the same number for reconstructing masks. So it's a hair mask. Looks like either a one or a two time use. Probably wouldn't be able to use. I don't know. I'll definitely try that out. And next in the little birch box. How about them apples? Cheek and lip cream. Oh, that's cute. This is one of the only things that I don't have is this palette from, um, well, not one of the only things, but one of the things I don't have from the bomb. So that's exciting. It's one of their um, colors from this palette. This is the whole palette. It's got these six cream blushes and lip colors. And this is one of them. So that's exciting. Looks like it's one of the medium tone ones, not one of the darkest and not one of the lightest. So that's a pretty good sample. That's exciting. And last thing is, oh, a nail polish from Color Club. And it is called Breakfast at dot dot dot. So probably like a breakfast at Tiffany's. It's a really pretty mint color. I'm excited. I need to take my nail polish off. It's really bad. So maybe I'll try this one out right away. Awesome. And that is everything that I got in this month's Birch Box. So thanks for watching. Bye.